Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. This is Jim. Hey. I had a couple real quick questions for you. More on the development with this SDK pack that's coming out with the iPhone. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you have any, and I'm not trying to stir up any fanboy love or anything, but I'm just trying to figure out if you guys know or if the fans out there know of any new um, programs or development things that might maximize the iPhone's, uh, I guess, potential as a mobile device. Well, I think we'll know more when the SDK is released. Certainly, we can see, uh, you know, a bit of magic happening with the jailbreaking. Uh, right. Mean, Are the applications going to be kind of like that? Oh on yeah. That line, yeah, or? they will. They, they will be like that. It's not kind of like that. They will be like that. They will be like that. I mean, are they going to come with a price? Don't know. I, that's up to the developer, and I believe the developer has a choice on whether to charge for it or make it free. I believe, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, in in which case, okay. In which case, I think a lot of those jailbreaking or jailbroken applications that run on a jailbroken phone are likely to you know be free, remain to be free, uh, or because that's kind of how it all started. Um, or e even even if they're not free, they're likely to be right around the five dollar price point. But I'm okay. thinking I'm thinking the fact that the jailbreak community for the iPhone has been you know, deeply rooted in the idea of sharing information and letting things be open, I think a lot of them would be doing themselves a disservice by charging uh, for something that was once available, you know, for free. And if it was available for free, that means that someone else can easily, likely easily develop something that wouldn't cost a thing. Uh, so it's all, all about right. creating I, choice in the marketplace. Uh, I was just wondering, because I, I had recently jailbroke a touch, and I touch, and most of the apps on it were, were very impressive. Um, it, you know, I was just wondering, with you know, with the release of all this new information in January, what what developments or what kind of news was kind of getting bubbled up? Well, it depends on on released. how much you know. Obviously, these things are technically possible to do. It depends on how much control Apple wants to give up. I mean, right. <clears throat> is Apple going to release an SDK that's going to allow people to uh, control things at a command line level? Uh, I don't think that's very likely. It doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. But I don't think it's very likely. Uh, I don't think they're going to give up total control. Um, but the fact that they're moving forward with an SDK, I think, was a planned release. They just couldn't do it out. They couldn't do it up front. Uh, I don't think Apple, you know, uh, listened to the community and then decided, okay, we're going to release an SDK. I think it was their plan all along. I really do. I just don't think they were ready for it. Uh, I think that uh, the iPhone platform has certainly evolved, you know, over time. Um, you know, there's rumblings of. Apple releasing, uh, well, now they've got a higher capacity iPhone at, or even an iPod Touch, uh, 16 gigs and 32 gigs, respectively. Um, you know, later this year, we may see, you know, 3G speeds on the iPhone or a new version of the iPhone. And likely with that, uh, software updates that would allow for video recording and likely instant video recording and pushing to YouTube at that point. Um, I, I can almost guarantee it. I, I, it's, it, it's a given. The fact that you can watch YouTube easily from an iPhone, it only makes sense that you can record a video from the iPhone and have it insta-published to your YouTube account. It just totally makes sense. Not not even yeah. a question. Um, it, and I don't know how much power the SDK is going to to give, but you know, needless to say, I mean, I think the the device functionally works. The hardware works. It's right. what Apple wants to expose and at what level. If, if it wasn't stable enough, I mean, I remember reading a, an article about the iPhone and what it was like in the 11th hour. They didn't even have a working version, and the fact that they pushed out the first version of the iPhone software when they did was just a miracle, an absolute miracle. And I think they did a fantastic job with it, and I think the, the best is certainly yet to come. I've paid more for a phone, mind you. Uh, a phone running the Pocket PC OS at the time was on the Verizon network, and it, it pales by comparison to the iPhone. Everything. It's like YouTube and the other video networks. iPhone and the rest of the mobile devices. Now, the only difference uh, that I think people can make a fair comparison between might be the iPhone and a BlackBerry uh, versus an iPhone versus a, a Windows mobile device. I've tried Windows mobile devices, including the HTC Touch, and I think the thing that holds them back uh, is the user experience. Seriously, the user experience. And as far as I'm concerned, the BlackBerry is all about email and push email. 
if you are an addict with email, well, you know, it's going to be difficult for you to make the move to the iPhone if you were a BlackBerry addict or a CrackBerry addict. Uh, but I think if you've never had a BlackBerry like myself, the iPhone is is, is a wonderful device, and, and I, I am very excited to see the SDK. I mean, it, I really am, and I'm hoping that I'm not going to go broke, and I'm hoping that a lot of those app developers... If I, I wish I could find someone who could develop apps for the iPhone when the SDK is released, because I've got a few ideas. Trust me, I've got a, f a few really good ideas. Well, the community right now is just, I mean, it's just so big and huge right now, and that's why I was wondering if, if it was going to put some of these people um, or force them maybe even more underground. No, 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 no. If Apple exposes the SDK and gives, you know, really, I don't think they're going to give carte blanche to developers. Uh, you know, certainly uh, there are going to be limitations in the SDK, but I'm confident that most of the things that iPhone developers are working on will work within the construct of the SDK. I'm, and I don't think they're going to go, you know, way to the extreme level, you know, uh, that it, I don't think they're going to have as much control, uh, the developers, with the iPhone as they do with a jailbroken iPhone in, in comparison to the SDK. But it's still going to be, something's going to be better than nothing. And I think you're going to find a lot of legitimate apps released with the SDK in conjunction with it. Uh, apps that you know will be free potentially, or you know will cost something. Uh, there's a vibrant community. Uh, it's easy. It's convenient. It's uh, you know relatively potentially affordable. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, you know, we'll, the, like I said, the best is yet to come with it. Cool. Cool. Thanks, Chris. And uh, I just want to tell you the, the computer classes I teach. They love your guys' channel. Your team puts up some good quality work. So keep it going. Oh, thanks. You teach computer classes, huh? Yeah. Where at? Computer and art. Interesting crossover. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how I got into that. <laughs> All right, take it easy. All right, you too, bud.